All right, so I've been saying for a little while that I'm going to do an ability tier list for Garden Warfare 2. It was the next highest requested thing for me to do, so today is the day we are going to get it done. So we have pretty much every single ability in Garden Warfare 2 here. I've done my best to put them into tiers. We have God, Top, High, Mid, Low, Bottom. And if you couldn't tell, the bottom tier is abilities that are complete arse. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, I'll start from the bottom and work upwards like with previous tier lists. I'm not going to go through every single individual one. I'm not about to sit here for the next week and a half. But I'll go over the ones that I feel like need going over. So these are, in my opinion, the worst abilities in the game. As far as the red artichoke goes, I'll be honest with you, I am not a fan of the artichoke. I think it sucks. Never thought the artichoke was good. And the red artichoke is just a worse version. You gain absolutely nothing from using the red artichoke if you don't have it and it comes up in rucks. Do yourself a massive favor and don't buy it. It is a complete complete waste of money and I wish I could get a refund. Multi Shuck is kind of a shame because when it wasn't out it was one of the abilities that I was really looking forward to and then when it came out my god did it end up being a letdown. Multi Shuck is basically imagine multi rocket but less accurate and it does half the damage. That's Multi Shuck. You gain nothing from using it over Shuck Shot it's just completely pointless and you would be lucky to kill Plankton with this thing. Super P Jump is possibly slightly controversial because it isn't by definition an awful ability. What puts it in bottom two here is how meaningless it is. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to use Super P Jump instead of Hyper. And I'm not even willing to accept all this bollocks like, oh well, there's certain spots that you can only get to with Super P Jump, I'll have you know. Fuck off. Trust me, any spot that is worth getting to, you can get there with Hyper. What they could actually do is balance it out by keeping Super P Jump the way it is and then nerfing Hyper so that Hyper only makes you move fast but not jump high. That would actually make Super P Jump jump useful and it would make hyper less of an std and then the armored heel stations honestly just don't take my word for it don't the low t is pretty self-explanatory again some of the abilities that are in here are just in there because they're kind of overshadowed by the counterpart multi rocket is definitely one of those and super multi ball and oolong bombson i was actually going to put in bottom tier i didn't put long bomb in there because i can see how there's possibly a bit of potential with it but it's such an awkward ability honestly just use imp pun and super multi ball the only reason it's not in bottom tier is because it is useful on toxic brains but having an ability that's only good on one character doesn't really make it good. It's enough to get it out of bottom tier, but that's about it. Retro and Bling Gatling again, there's just no reason to use it over P Gatling. I've never really been a fan of the Stink Clouds. I've actually never found massive uses for either of them, but I'll at least put Super Stink Cloud up in mid tier because I can see how a Stink Cloud is useful and at least the Super Stink Cloud does a bit more damage. And Energy Warp is basically just a shittier version of Arcane Enigma. It's Arcane Enigma that doesn't last as long and you can't jump. I'll have a look over the mid tier again. Like I said, these are ones that are just decent. Spiky Spike Weed, I was tempted to put a tier higher, but I'll leave it in mid tier because you only get two of them. Sunbeam and Peel Shield arguably deserve to be in high tier, but again, it's the same story. For me, Peel Shield is overshadowed by Mood Shield, and I know this one comes down to personal preference and everyone argues the toss about it. It has caused division worldwide. Yes, I think Solar Flare is better than Sunbeam. The Bolt Blasters, I'm kind of tempted to put them up in high tier. No, do you know what? I'm actually going to put them in high tier. I think the only reason I didn't is because it's not as accurate as P Gatling, but I'm pretty sure it has a higher damage output and it does give you a bit of hitbox protection as well. So do you know what? They can go in high tier. My placement of mechs might be a Storm Natika. Just by virtue of the fact that they're mechs means they can't really be any lower than mid tier. But I think these three in particular, honestly, there's just nothing special about them. Oh, but Wolfie, didn't you know that the bling pylon mech does more damage than the regular one? Who gives a shit? It's still a pylon mech it's still pasta with no pesto. The high tier, this is, in my opinion, these are the abilities that you should be using. Obviously, Burrow is up there. I do think it is the best Y ability for a chomper. I think overall it is better than both of the warps, and don't you Sprint Burrow. Sprint Burrow is so much more obnoxious than it actually is useful. Yes, it moves so much faster, but you'll be back above ground quicker than you nutted when you got laid for the first time, so just don't bother. I think all the stuff like the heal station, both heal flowers, the heal bomb, they're all up there. Actually, I put all of Hover Goat's abilities in high tier. He's actually got a really solid ability setup to be fair. Probably one of the best support characters in the game. Rocket Leap I put up there. I've always thought Rocket Leap's better than Rocket Jump. Most of the Rose abilities are up here. Goatify is okay-ish and for some unknown reason Psychedelic Goat got nerfed into the ground. Wasn't even that fucking good in the first place. Heroic Kick since they patched it so you now get two of them is definitely up there. And Hyper was one I was considering putting in top tier. But then if I just compare it to the other stuff I've got in top tier it just doesn't fit I don't think. Dark 
Shark drone is easily the best cactus drone. Turbo Jackhammer used to be shit, and then they buffed it, and now it's the shit. Got the other two Spikeweeds up there because they're just broken. Actually, such a stupid ability. Also, I put the Future Parrot up there. I don't know how many people are going to agree with that. I know he's slower and all that, but because of how small he is, he can still be quite mobile. And this guy hits insanity damage. So that's kind of why I put him there. You got the top tier. These are, in my opinion, the best abilities in the game. Leaf Shield and Blazing Blast are pretty self-explanatory. Leaf Shield practically makes a Torchwood invincible. Blazing Blast insta-kills pretty much anything. EM Peach, Sonic Grenade, and Gravity Grenade are basically fight winners. What I mean by that is if you're having a fight with someone and you EM Peach, Sonic Grenade, or Gravity Nade them, you have instantly won that fight. You then have a free window to kill them and there is fuck all they can do about it. Husk Hop is pretty standard. It just kills anything it touches. And yes, in my opinion, the regular Z Mech is by far the best one. And Party Mech is included in that as well. In fact, Party Mech is a little bit better. But they don't have an icon for Party Mech, so that'll have to do. And then at the very top, we have the gods themselves. Some people argue, well, do you know what? Johnny sits on the battlefield and he doesn't do anything. Some people call that useless. Do you know what I call it? Mercy.